horrible today. Will Yellowstone erupt again? Seconds 400 earthquakes split the earth before the eruption of the Yellowstone volcano. The Yellowstone supervolcano has been hit by a series of earthquakes, with more than 400 recorded since June 12. The most recent earthquake was recorded on Monday, June 19, with a magnitude 3 earthquake striking 13.6 miles north-northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana. The swarm began last week, and on June 15, a 4.5 magnitude earthquake occurred in Yellowstone National Park. The epicenter was located in Yellowstone National Park, 8 miles north-northeast of the city of West Yellowstone, Montana. Scientists from the University of Utah, which monitors Yellowstone Volcano, said in a statement. The earthquake was reportedly felt in the cities of West Yellowstone and Gardiner, Montana, in Yellowstone National Park, and elsewhere in the surrounding region. The earthquake was the largest to hit Yellowstone since March 30, 2014, when a magnitude 4.8 quake was recorded 18 miles to the east, near the Norris Geyser Basin. This, 4, 5, earthquake is part of a series of energetic earthquakes in the same region that began on June 12, the statement continued. This sequence includes approximately 30 earthquakes of magnitude 2 and greater and 4 earthquakes of magnitude 3 and greater, including today's magnitude 4.5 event. As of June 19, 464 events had been recorded. Most of these earthquakes had magnitudes of 0 to 1, and five of them were smaller than 0, indicating that they occurred at depths between 0 miles and 9 miles. This is the highest number of earthquakes in Yellowstone in a single week in the past five years, but is less than the weekly number of earthquakes seen in similar earthquakes in 2002, 2004, 2008 and 2010, the scientists said. The University of Utah is part of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, which monitors volcanic activity and earthquakes in Yellowstone National Park. Seismic activity at a volcano can signal an impending eruption, although it is currently impossible to predict exactly when a volcano will erupt. Experts at the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, say the risk of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption is low. The volcano's warning level currently remains normal and the aviation color code, which provides information about potential combat risks, is green, meaning the volcano is in normal condition and not erupt. Spokespeople for the USGS and YVO told Newsweek that the current activity appears to be slowly subsiding, and no other geological activity has been detected. The probability of a major eruption at Yellowstone in the next year is currently calculated at 1 in 730,000. But what happens if the mountain erupts? In 2014, USGS scientists published a report modeling what would happen if a large, explosive eruption occurred at the supervolcano. Their findings suggest much of the country would be covered in a layer of ash, and some areas would be buried to a depth of 1 meter. However, the USGS also said that if Yellowstone erupts, it will likely be much smaller than model. They also described worrying signs of activity. Yellowstone hasn't erupted for 70,000 years, so it would have taken several earthquakes and major ground uplift to get it started, the team said in a press release. In addition to a powerful earthquake wave, with many quakes above the M4 or M5, we expect significant uplift rapidly and significantly around the caldera, perhaps tens of inches per year. Finally, rising magma will cause explosions from boiling temperature geothermal reservoirs. Explosions, earthquakes, and significant ground uplift, the most likely type of volcanic eruption is the eruption had minimal impact outside the national park itself.